This is Cam Kelly. Welcome to Devil Talk. Uh, once again, as always, uh, joined by resident expert and statistician uh, <laughs> and all round good egg and slaphead Brent Pope. Nice to be here this morning, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to see you. Uh, we're also joined by Luke Piggott Hiya. and Adam Harding as well. Hi. For a Barry boy, you sound kind of um, new worldy. <laughs> well, I did live in uh, North America for three years. Three? What part of America? Uh, I lived in Calgary for two years, and then I moved to California for my last year. Uh, a lot of people compare uh, Barry and California. Um, <laughs> how did you think they compared? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's much different. There's, much a, different. there's a distinct <laughs> lack of arcades and log flumes exactly. in California, for my <laughs> money, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, Luke, um, you a Cardiff boy? Uh, I'm not originally. I was actually born in Canada, um, and then I moved back to the UK when I was about eight years old, and I uh, grew up near Reading, not far from London, and then I moved to Cardiff when I came to university here when I was 18. And yet, <coughs> randomly, you sound more Welsh than Adam does. <laughs> I've actually, yeah, I've heard that a few times yeah, before. Yeah, so. you were picking out. It's one of those accents, because my wife's from Yorkshire, and uh, and when we moved her down here, within within two years, we, <laughs> we shipped her down. We moved her down. We shipped her down. <laughs> no, I don't, later when, career. when I say we moved her down here, I don't want you to think she's like a Russian mail order bride. <laughs> wow. It, it certainly, she wow. certainly wasn't delivered. I, I didn't have to sign for it. Uh, but within within uh, a three-year period, she's picked up quite a Welsh accent as well. I think it's one of the easier ones to pick up. Well, you spend a little bit of time down here in the Welsh Riviera. And it just happens, doesn't it? It, it does happen. It's... Although you're still full-on Canadian, Thank aren't you? Thank God. <laughs> well, that's a matter of opinion, isn't it? A, I believe is the uh, correct term to punctuate. Oh, a. Hey, I worked hard on this one for 20 years. I want to keep it. It's just uh, it's a tough thing, those accents. So you don't really want to really lose it, do you? Or... No, well, not it really. Says, it says a little bit when I think when you lose an accent. And I'm not sure what it says, but it says something. I love every hockey fan tuning in for this going, do you know, I really wanted them to discuss diction. It's accents that I wanted to hear about. I love it when people talk about accents. And this weekend. And this weekend. Let's talk about this weekend. Uh, it's the Brayhead clan away on Saturday. So how long for you boys on the bus is that? That's all the way up in Scotland, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it's something like an eight-hour bus trip. Maybe even longer, especially when you include all the stops and things like that. What do you do? You get there about how long? Two hours before face-off? Uh, normally, yeah, you could get, get a good couple of hours that... Uh, before the face off so you have time to prepare get warmed up and stuff and get dressed but the but i think what a lot of people and what always surprised me as well when i found out is that you don't then stay up overnight do you, you then finish your game hopefully whoop some ass and then get back on the coach relish and bask in your ass whooping for about the first two hours of the journey before just being plain out bored on the way back don't you yeah it's a it's a long bus trip back you're tired everyone's laying out on the floor it's intense yeah, yeah. <laughs> well the good thing about adam's time in north america he probably is used to some longer journeys i'd expect you'd had some long ones as yeah, well yeah some 16 hours road trips really? and yeah it's pretty hard yeah so but... it's half as difficult <laughs> yes this is very true are we expecting quite a tough competition um from brayhead certainly on their home territory anyway luke uh yeah well brayhead uh came out last year as a new team and uh bruce richardson put together uh, a good starting squad and they've managed to keep hold of the majority of their their squad this year as a base, and now Drew Bannister's taken over, made some good signings, and uh, they had a solid start last weekend. So I expect them to be one of the surprises of the season, and uh, they're really going to work as hard, especially in their own rink. And on the return leg, when Brayhead come to Cardiff, do you think the fans can intimidate them? Well, we always play better at home. We, yeah. like, we have the crowd behind us, and obviously everyone plays better at home. But We need it. We, we need it before. We do. We do need to perform. Yeah. Especially it's a league competition this weekend. Last weekend we won both our games in the Challenge Cup and now we're back in the league. The thing about league games, although Brayheads just started last weekend, we're kind of behind at the moment with Sheffield, Nottingham and Belfast. They've played a number of more games. And the fact that we've got games in hand is, is to our credit, but you got to start winning those games in hand. So um, that's the problem, and that, that's the big challenge this weekend. To the team, what's more important, the league or the cup? Uh, I would say probably the league. Mm. Um, everybody wants, you know, everybody dreams of that league championship, and uh, that's basically the the goal every year is to win that league championship. And uh, the more trophies you can pick up along the way, you know, a Challenge Cup and uh, a playoff uh, championship as well, you know, the better. But based on last weekend's performance, you certainly don't start out softly on cup games, do you? You go in there all guns blazing. No, we treat them both the same. Uh, you know, you go out there for a cup game, league game, whatever. You, you're going out there all guns blazing, like you say, and you're trying to win every game, work as hard as you can, and. Try and build as a team as well. The performances carry over into the league games, so you've got to play as, as tough as you can in every game. Easier to say and do at the beginning of the season? We, we started off great, seeing as we only had one practice with each other as a whole team, and we've done really well so far. And we, we've 
we've come along as a team. This is your first full season as a Cardiff Devil. Uh, I'm I'm on a two way with the ENL Cardiff Devils as well as Luke Piggott. Does that mean it's twice as hard? We have more practices, but it is it is tough, yeah. But it's a, a, an amazing team to play for, I imagine. Oh, it's amazing! It's you got the fans, you got everything. It's it is a great great experience. Honor to put that top on. Oh, it's it's a great honor. Yeah. I've been growing up in Cardiff, watching the Cardiff Devils since I was very young, and it's just amazing to be playing with the guys who you've been watching for many years. Did Barry have an, an ice hockey team or not? This is something I don't know. <laughs> the ba- I, I'd like, had a roller hockey team. I'd like to think if they did, they'd be the Barry boys. The yeah, the Barry the, boys take to the ice. They got a they got a swimming team there called the Barry Beavers. I'll tell you a story about that one day. I'm sure but you they, will. They're very, but they've got uh, maybe the Barry boys. I think they're pretty... Uh, but they do have some roller hockey up there. But but probably just going back to both Adam and Luke's situation, I think both of them uh, have kind of found themselves now on the threshold and, and being with the Elite League team that maybe even, you know, maybe they would admit to themselves that uh, they weren't fully expecting that opportunity. But it's uh, it's happening because they've made it happen. And, um, you know, having both the players commit to our organization is um, a real asset for us. And it'll be a big part of our success for the Elite League team this year. See, so commit's a great word. How much do you have to commit um, to the art, to the game, um, to get yourself a team place in the Cardiff Devils, Luke? Uh, well, the commitment's huge. Um, I know, especially for the coaches, G and Franny, they expect a, a huge commitment from all their players and be available for every game that they want you to play as well. So, you know, it's it can be up to four or five practices a week for the for the Devils, so it can take up quite a lot of your time. So uh, would you say that you are probably 100% committed to the Cardiff Devils cause? Oh yeah, definitely. You got to be 100% committed. If uh, if if you weren't, I don't think you'd be in the team, basically. And for someone who is 100% committed to the Cardiff Devils, just in your sidelines in your spare time, you've managed to come up with what a lot of people are calling a cure for cancer. I don't think we should sweep this under the carpet. I think this is something we should talk about. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, as uh, combining with the uh, the hockey side of my things, I'm studying towards my PhD and. Uh, um, during the last couple of years, I made a, a, a breakthrough in, uh, in a treatment towards breast cancer, yeah. so You did this at Cardiff University? Yeah, that's um, correct. You came up with a discovery, um, I don't know, did you do this at home on paper or were you in a lab at the time and you sort of thought, whoa, hold on a second, this kind of works? Uh, well, it was, yeah, it's kind of funny, it was uh, in a lab at a time. I mean, I have a general project area which I work in um, for breast cancer treatments and um, what happened was I actually sort of went off the beaten track, I guess, a little bit and decided to go down my own route for one of my experiments and it just so happened that it... Uh, it worked out um, a bit better than I was expecting. So I had to go uh, and tell my boss then that I'd done something he hadn't asked me to do. Um, and then he was pleasantly surprised, at least. And uh, we continued down that route, basically, and it, it turned out to be uh, something uh, worthwhile investigating. That's amazing. Now, following his position, did he have to reprimand you for going <laughs> off in your own direction and then kind of do the unofficial, do you know what, but fair play to you? Or, or was it just all the way, wow? No, there is some uh, element of leniency in the, in the sense of you can sort of go off in your own direction. You are your, your own boss in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you have some flexibility with what direction you take your own research, but uh, it wasn't one which we'd had discussed yeah. um, per se, but uh, uh, he was happy that uh, we'd got the result that we'd got. And when you get back in the lab, do you have in your mind other avenues that you want to take on your own? Uh, well, with the uh, with the research, yeah. uh, every now and then I do get a little bit carried away and think of things which I'd love to do, but... Uh, you know, the funding for these things are a little bit strapped and he has to think about those sort of things. But uh, if uh, if I had uh, a bottomless pit of money, of course, there'd be a whole bunch of things which we haven't got detail planned out, which I would absolutely love to do. But Without blowing smoke up your jacks, it's kind of an honour to be in the same room as someone who's <laughs> achieved that. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's going to affect so many people's lives in so many uh, beneficial ways. So uh, congratulations on that. Thanks. Adam, what have you achieved? <laughs> it's a tricky one. It's hard to compete. Have it's, it's There's hard only one way. Compete. There's only one way from there. Oh, Listen, um, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure and honour meeting you both, and uh, and good luck away and home. I'm definitely come to the home match on Sunday night. You'll forgive me for not wanting to do an eight-hour drive on the Saturday, <laughs> but uh, I will be in the bay on Sunday night for your game against Brayhead. But good luck away against them on Saturday. Thanks for coming Thank in, you guys. Very much. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Cheers, Cheers, bye. Bye.